And welcome to Baseball City. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. Getting the nod on the mound, Garrett Cole. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So just about set now, and now Austin Meadows. In for a strike, and we are underway. First pitch, 7 o'clock. In the air, right field. Judge is there. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now the Tigers lineup for manager A.J. Hinch. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age. Bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Riley Green swings through one there. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going swings and misses and good work there as he gets a one two three Tigers nothing Yankees coming up you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show bottom of the first and towing the slab in this one Eric Skubal well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Out to short bias collects and Glaber Torres retired as we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup now with their ace on the mound today they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support and they'll see what they can do for him Book, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator you know that he doesn't give up a whole lot but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he could be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the that middle of the third. field. The Anthony Rizzo base. steps to the play. Swings through that one. Oh and one. And now the lefty. And it's one and one. Pickoff throw. And Judge back in safely. Judge. The runner at second with one away. And that one is lifted in the air. Badu on the move to his left. And puts the squeeze on that. 
Runner tags up for third. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Here's a 1-1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Runner at first with two away. Now it's Josh Donaldson's Matt turn to hit. The third baseman. And Josh. a foul ball. Donaldson. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open straight up and now more closed one thing hitters will do it's not so much about the stance but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher swing and a miss struck him out good job at damage control right there but they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. Top of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Leading off for Detroit. The second baseman. And a good fastball to Jonathan start him off. That's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. You see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. The one, two. The punch out there and one out now. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Eric. Huh. Eric Cox takes a ball here as he stands in now. The line to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Up the middle, Torres handles. Fires over to first. Out number three. In order go the Tigers. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Puts it away for the out. Right. And seven. now Bader up to the plate. Bader. That to right. Green makes the play, and there are two outs. Batting it. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering misses the mark. 
One ball, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And the count one and two. Got him. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Nick Maton. Leading off for the Tigers. The third base slapped foul. Nick Maton. Here's your one. And a swing and a miss. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And one gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And here is Spencer Torkelson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here's the center fielder, Akil Badu. First offering and it just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. Swing and a broken bat flare. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Bottom of the inning, here's Jose Trevino. Leading off for the Yankees. The Google back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Green moving under it. He's got it. One up, one down. Now back, second baseman. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Grounded out his first time. Liner to second, it picked on the hop. And Glaber Torres retired. The right fielder, number two. Two outs, base is empty. Aaron. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And that one got a piece of him. Now, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. Yeah, you know, sometimes a guy loses confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Anthony. So, man aboard, and here is Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 1 with a flyout. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left hand batter waits and fouled off. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Stays alive. Next pitch way upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. And that one gets away at the plate. 
and the runner stays where he is. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Badu makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Yankees. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Leading off, Javier Baez to third. And there's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dot. DJ LeMayhew coming into the game now as the injury replacement. Here's Riley Green. Now playing third base. In there for strike one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one on to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Jonathan Scope. Went down on strikes his first time through. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball, no strike. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. On the ground, right side. Rizzo takes it himself. Third out, and that ends the frame. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. For the Yankees. The designated hitter. The pitch. Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force. And I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. The pitch. Foul ball, he stays alive. The one two. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. The throw got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. So he's doing a nice job of up keeping the ball game. out of the air. The Let's the defense minutes. work behind him with DJ. another ground ball. Good execution. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. The 0 2. And now 1 and 2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now 2 away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Squeezes it. And that is that. We played four. Yankees won and the Tigers nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH. Number 48. The designated hitter. That's in there. Strike one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Good eye right there. Line drive. And there's one away. Eric Haas up now for the Tigers. Eric Haas. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. 
Swing and a slow roller. LeMayhew handles the chance, tosses to first, and the first two set down at the top of the fifth. The batter. Two the outs, base is empty. Nick. And next up for the Tigers, Maton. Nick Maton. He's 0 for 1. Yep. And that's in there for strike one. Cabrera ranges to his right. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And that is that. Home half. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And a pitch. The center fielder, Harrison. In the air, out Bader. towards left center. Meadows makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batting. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The catcher, Jose Trevino getting ready to hit. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Now batting. The second Here's Glaber Torres. Glaber. Torres. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. At the belt and fires. Next offering misses down and away. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. The throw in. There's the tag. They get him, and that's the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Spencer Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson. That's in there. That's strike one. No ball. What's right? Fouled off. He was late. Got him. And there's one down. And stepping in is the speedy Akil Badu. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Just off the inside edge. A wind in the pitch. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite that side, but that field. pitch really got awesome. in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. In the air to left center, Bader reaching back towards the wall. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the third out. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the six. Yankees won, and the Tigers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. The white field. Aaron. Scoop back to work. And Judge spoils that one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plate discipline as well. One ball, two strikes. Judge started after it, tried to hold up, 
Now a look to first. Did not go. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. And down on strikes. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. So digging in, Anthony now Rizzo. First baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Foul ball. That misses the zone. One and one. That's the third. Rizzo out of the play. Now that. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's going to be Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. And that skips into dirt. Two outs. Stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. The 2 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And here it comes. That one fouled off. The pitch. Got it. That's out number three. Down in order, go to Yank. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And the batter will be the shortstop. Javier Baez. Bunting for a hit. Baez to first on the run. Baez gone on the play. Well, I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bunt. But they get the out. Way to go. Next offering upstairs. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Throw on to Rizzo, and there's two down. Now back, second base. Jonathan Scope Jonathan up now for the Tigers. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. And it's through for a hit. And that extends the inning. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Up next for the time. So two down now. And here is Eric, Eric Haas. Oh. Next offering. Popped in the air. Right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And, and that will end the inning. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Bo Brisky. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, one run game. DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. And there's the strike. Tigers bullpen with some action. Will Vest getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Foley warming up as well. Righty to the plate. And now the count is even. Bounced out to short. Baez fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter sat down to open the seven. 
now batting. And yeah, the batter now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0 1. Now 1 1. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Stays alive. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Bounced up the middle. A dive. He's got it. Fires to first. Pretty nice play there. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. We go to the eighth. Now the third baseman, Nick Maton. Leading off the court. The third baseman going along. Oh, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that just misses. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right side. Falls it in for the out. Now batting. The first base. Spencer Torkelson Spencer. up now for the Tigers. Torkelson. One for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This one chopped up the middle. And they get Torkelson for the out. Now batting. The center fielder, Akil Badu. And up next for Detroit, Akil Badu. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and a pop-up. Peraza sizing this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. Leading off for the Yankees. The shortstop, Oswald. With the right hater back to work. That misses. Ball one. Righty delivers. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Row on to Torkelson. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And a seed into center, that's a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Labor Torres up to hit. And first offering is fouled off.
That one missing inside. Trevino stands at first with one out. Next offering is downstairs. And the right-hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Liner, base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So one out with two aboard. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judge. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. These fans don't like to see that now because that. they showed First up to watch him swing the bat. Anthony. But this team does not want to let him beat him. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job at the plate. Now on the bump, Will Vest. Now he comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. So one out, nobody on. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. One for three. Now batting the designated swings through that one. Hold one. Denton. Kicks and fires. And now it's even up. Still only one out here in the inning. Foul ball there. And he deals. Ball. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once basement. you commit it. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't Love do it. Mayhew. This to center field. Badu makes the catch, and that'll do it. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. Last chance coming up here for the Tigers. They turn things over to the southpaw, Wandy Peralta, and a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. We go to the ninth. Now it's Austin Meadows. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and deals. So two balls and no strikes. Left hand hitter waits. There's a strike. Left hand batter waits. Rip, but it curls foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. That drops in, plays it on a hop. And it gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Torres with a relay throw, not in time, he's safe. 
the battle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, Riley. you feel really good mm. about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. The batter number seven. Second baseman, Jonathan. Yeah. And next to hit for Detroit, Jonathan Scope. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Jonathan Scope takes him deep, and they cut into the deficit. It's 5 2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. So now the DH spot, number 48. Now back. So out of the pen comes number the right-hander, Tommy Canely. And he'll do his now best to hang on to this lead. And Number first Kingsley. offering is fouled off. Tommy and a pitch. Tommy that one's two. in there. And the count is 0-2. And, and a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you get that save and do it efficiently, He'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Thanks for